Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. Now, just recently we bought an incredible collection of guitars off a good client of ours over in New York. Uh, some really special instruments in there, including a 1956 Gold Top and a 1957 Stratocaster. Now, as you can see, I am surrounded by Les Pauls. Now, these five Les Pauls were all part of that same collection. These are 1959 Les Paul Burst reissues, and we're gonna check out what makes them so special. This is a Gibson Custom Collector's Choice number 46, Catherine in Bradoka Burst, and it's a true historic spec replica of Scott Bradoka's own 1959 Les Paul. Scott worked closely with the team at Gibson Custom, allowing hands-on study and laser scanning of every curve and angle of his guitar. Meet the Gibson Custom Collector's Choice number two, Goldie in Green Lemon Burst. Now this is the second model produced in the CC series, recreation of Burst serial number 9-062. It's gorgeous flame top Les Paul, its ownership is extremely well documented and has graced the collections of several noted Burst aficionados. The actual guitar has also been extremely well cared for, suffering some of the minor nicks and dings that all well played instruments experience in half a century of use, all precisely recreated by Tom Murphy's hand agent. Here we have a Gibson Custom 1959 Les Paul Standard Brazilian Rosewood 2017 page 51 burst. This is a beautiful R9 with Brazilian board whose finish is based on the Les Paul on page 51 of the Beauty of the Burst, hence the name. Then we have a Gibson Custom 1959 Les Paul Standard Brazilian Rosewood Slow Ice Tea Fade. Yet another beautiful R9 with Brazilian board in this collection. This one custom ordered with the neck profile and agent based on page 83 of Beauty of the Burst, which is one of the most famous bursts ever, the one and only Pearly Gates. And last but not least, is this Gibson custom Murphy painted and aged Murphy Sunburst R9. The finish and agent applied by the legendary Tom Murphy, which is also my dad's name by the way, not joking. An interesting tidbit is that he writes his initials in the checking of the guitar. So it's been a pleasure playing all of these Les Paul uh, Burst reissues. Uh, they've all got their own kind of separate qualities, different tonal differences. Uh, they look incredible. Uh, probably some of my favorites. This is certainly up there. This is the slow ice tea fade. Um, I mean, I'll take any of them to be quite honest. I love them all. Um, so make sure you come and check them out. Mm -hmm.